Good afternoon and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much. All of my old subscribers, all of my new subscribers, all of my future subscribers. I am showing you gratitude before you even come, all of my future subscribers. Um, I always express the importance of hitting the like button because it helps to keep the video on the algorithm. Also, uh, hit the subscription button. I'm still seeing that there are still more people that come over and um, look at the videos that are not subscribed. I, I understand that that number, there will always be people that come over and look that are unsubscribed, right? Um, but then there are some that, um, and they do that purposely, but there are some that just forget to hit the subscription button. So make sure that you guys hit the subscription button, okay? Share the content so that more people can learn about the channel, okay? Um, you guys know I did a video last night on the Americans, uh, the African Americans that went over to Mexico um, to um, and was kidnapped, right? Um, they went over to Mexico and they was kidnapped and there were conflicting stories and things of that nature as it relates to that. They were saying that the young lady um, was going over for a BBL of Tommy Tug, which is, it could have been. And then um, they said that the uh, supposedly I was reading the Mexican president said uh, um, that they were um, coming over for to get some drug treatments or something like that. But, you know, some more stuff is coming out. Of course, I think I stated last night in my video that, um, that, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? I stated last night in my video that one of the young men had wanted to, um, back out because of his fear of what is going on over there. Okay. Um, they're saying that he wanted to back out why he decided to go. I don't know. And he was just a friend. I, I don't understand that if I didn't want to go somewhere, I, I wouldn't have gone, you know. Um, and they're saying that he was just a friend. But anyways, a travel do not travel advisory has been. Everyone, I'm Jonathan Martin. Thanks so much for joining us. Two Americans who survived a violent kidnapping in Mexico are now back in the U.S. Two of the victims, however, were found dead. The third was found severely injured and the fourth was not hurt. Latavia Washington McGee drove to Matamoros, Mexico with Shaid Woodard, Zendel Brown, and their friend Eric Williams. They were traveling in a van with South Carolina license plates when they were caught in a shootout and kidnapped in what appears to be a case of mistaken identity. Fox News is reporting tonight the group was there for medical treatment and that one of the victims had just had some plastic surgery. Attacks on U.S. citizens are unacceptable, no matter where or under what circumstance, circumstances they happen. We will continue to work closely with the Mexican government to ensure justice is done in this case. Mexican authorities say they have one person in custody and are now searching for others. Now the to certain parts of Mexico now just days before spring break. And this is coming after the tragic events we just talked about in Matamoros. Fox 26 is Natalie. He joining us live with more on this. So Natalie, what are you learning about it? Well, Jonathan, for many college kids, spring break is next week. And while some students may have planned to head across the border, U.S. officials now reissuing their warnings for people to cancel or seriously reconsider traveling to Mexico. Do you have any concerns traveling to Mexico right now? No, no, I would love to go to Mexico. Yeah, I will go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, just let my mom know, but I'll, yeah, I'll definitely go. The travel advisory for uh, Tamaulipas State remains at level four. A level four warning, the highest travel advisory issued by the U.S. State Department is now in effect in six Mexican states, including Tamaulipas, located just south of Brownsville, Texas. The warnings were first issued last year and reissued last Friday. <laughs> The same day, four Americans were kidnapped in Matamoros, two of them now dead. Authorities say the group had traveled from South Carolina for a cosmetic procedure. Well, the level four travel advisory, which basically is equivalent to the Ukraine, just don't go there. The issue here 
is that if I'm traveling to uh, Myanmar or Nepal or the Middle East, I'm probably going to check my travel advisory. Spring breakers in uh, Brownsville aren't going to think twice about going to a bar in, in Matamoros because that's just what we do and their neighbors. University of St. Thomas professor Richard Sindelar formerly worked at the State Department for nearly 23 years and spent a significant amount of time as deputy consul general in Monterey, Mexico. He's urging Americans, particularly college spring breakers, to take the level four advisory seriously, especially those considering going to Matamoros. That particular city is particularly dangerous because there are two uh, cartels that are in what amount to a cartel war now, uh, and they are apparently two of the most vicious cartels in Mexico. So they're their first instinct is to kill you rather than deal with you. Rather than kidnap you and ransom you, we'll just kill you. For those ignoring the advisory or going to cities with a level two increased caution warning, Sindelar suggests remaining vigilant and aware of your surroundings. To misdirect your path. If you're going from your hotel to the beach, for instance, in Cancun and it's three blocks away, don't go straight to the beach. Go left and then right and then left. And if that same guy in the red shirt is still following you, uh, you may be a target. Get inside in something safe like any hotel or, or building store nearby. Wow, you guys, that's something serious. And to hear college students, uh, I told you guys, I told you guys, even though um, it is at a, a level four there, there, I said, it's still going to be people that's going to feel like, well, it won't happen to me, although they're saying that they're at war. I think it's something else going on. I think it's something else going on for, and I, I it, it, you know, that the United States is not necessarily telling us about, especially just listening looking at that even more, I, I think it's something else going on. Um, and, and there's no telling what is going on. I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but I just think it's something else. But I mean, like I said, we have been hearing things about, um, you know, uh, what, uh, some things about what was going on in Mexico. As, as I said last night, even after I did, um, uh, I did a video on it, I started doing some more research on that human trafficking stuff, because uh, I, I am definitely very, very interested in that. I know a lot of Hispanics, um, they are, they kind of work with a lot of those, a lot of Americans around that Texas border. I think I was telling you all that I was told that the state of Texas and Mexico, because they're right there together, is really heavily involved in human trafficking and the FBI and other specialized forces have gone deep undercover. And the reason I know that is because I have, um, I know private investigators that um, has, you know, has been hired by families that can afford investigators um, to try to try and help find their children. But now um, because it is so deep and I, I hate, they don't talk enough about that the uh, FBI and other specialized forces have kind of gone deep undercover, you know, um, because uh, his little uh, Hispanic girls are being uh, snatched up from their families. Like they're just, they can't even play out in the yard in some of these cities in Mexico. They will snatch up a little girl and they will um, brutally, you know, uh, sexually assault her. And, you know, they're being they're being sold um, and oftentimes they're being sold back across their border into Texas. OK. And so uh, we see a lot of people um, around the United States, but especially around that Texas area, getting more and more involved into human trafficking. And, you know, it used to be where you had pimps that that put um, women out on the corner um, and, and they willingly sold their bodies for whatever uh, reasons or whatever mental issues or traumas that they had going on. Cause normal people don't just, you know, want to sell their bodies and have all of those entities and stuff, those different spirits on the inside of them. Right. Cause if you ever talk to any prostitutes, they'll tell you, they'll say, you know, I have to stay high in order to uh, have sex with these guys, because if I'm not high, I can't do it. You know what I mean? Because consciously it does something to them for all of those different 
to even have to share their their souls and stuff with all of those different men. I'm sure it is absolutely gross. Okay, but um, but now it's more profitable to get teenage girls and 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 put them into human trafficking. And what's so sad is you have a lot of women now that are becoming madams. Uh, these men, because when, uh, the girls are more trusting now, I guess, as it relates to women. So now you get a lot of men that are pimp like that are getting women, OK, to get on their teams and making them madams and putting them on young girls. You know, you you finesse her or I want you to watch over this organization. You help to recruit. It's a lot of evil stuff that's going on. So I'm definitely glad that there are specialized units and forces that are out there to try and uh, dismantle a lot of that because it's a damn shame when you got black men that's involved in this, that feel like that they can profit off of young black women. That's the reason why a lot of them getting gutted out like fish because, you know, the women, the woman is the blessing. Okay. And so black men, men period are supposed to be, um, looking hey and i'm talking about those that are out there doing wrong not the ones that are innocent okay the ones that are innocent i'm not talking about them i'm talking about these ones that's out here that's doing evil things that's trying to come up off of uh hurting women and things that nature them okay uh so when people say well you had talked about a black man i don't give a damn about a black man that's out there um uh hurting his community especially hurting children and young and young women and young boys okay because now they're putting young boys into this situation okay so uh those that do that i kiss my ass i don't care fuck you i don't care what you say or think they ought to be dead okay because they're ruining our generation excuse my friends but when a bitch think they're gonna make me feel bad about saying i don't give a damn about what happened to them Okay, I I don't care when they're out there destroying our community. I'm not I'm not gonna feel bad about that. They ain't got no business living. Anytime you put in young girls and stuff on the street, you don't you you ain't got no business with no breath in you. Well, you know we all God's children. Damn you, everybody! I don't know about that because some of these folks, the seed of Chucky, I don't know where they came from. I don't know where they come from. OK, I know Satan got some of his folks out there. And when you don't have an issue with destroying lives, especially innocent lives, I don't, I, ain't, I don't have nothing for you. Nothing. I don't like you. Don't care for you. Don't care about you. OK, when you are a destroyer. OK. All right. So, but that is definitely going on. I have to, cause see people be posting in my comments. I thought you said you was a Christian. I am. I love God. I do. I love God, but I ain't got nothing for no people that destroy. Okay. And it's too many people that are out there destroying. Okay. I'm, I'm a human. I'm a human being. I'm not stupid. Okay, I'm not one of those ones. Well, you know, they doing wrong, but you know, I just I just want God to change their hearts and I'm gonna stay all on my knees and just pray. Let me tell you something. I don't do the work that I do because I'm weak. And I, you better believe I'm sought out. Okay. It's because I know what I, I know how to do what I do. I have just enough. Of, I have I, I have a good heart as it relates to people that are troubled, people that are traumatized, and naturally good people. I love on people like that, right? And I think the difference in me and a lot of other people is, you know, the human psyche now is so sick as it relates to a lot of people. When they see good people, they go, oh, that's a good person. I wonder if I can bump their head. When I see good people, I genuinely want to nurture those relationships because you know just dealing having good people around you at this point without any motives that is becoming extinct because everybody is out for themselves and you see a lot of people my age and older even becoming like that too strictly just out for self okay um when you find unselfish people those are people to keep in your try to keep in your circle 
And that's exactly, you know, what I do. Okay. And when I find out they ain't shit, I cut them off and I don't have no issues with that. Okay. But yeah, one of the Americans, let me get back to it because I jumped all over. When I started talking about that human trafficking stuff, I started getting upset because I think I have spoken about how um, about eight or eight years back, I had families from down in Missouri that was contacting me because so many missing girls, okay, there was so many African-American girls that was going missing. There was some type of ring. There was a hub that had been set up in Missouri, especially around the St. Louis area. And that's why I'm not shocked to see or hear that St. Louis is the murder capital now because it's, it's, it's been in the making because a lot of those young girls, uh, hey, St. Louis, they was snatching up black girls like 40 going north. I had even had the opportunity to speak with the East St. Louis police chief uh, uh, he's not there anymore. It's a new one there around that time because it was so bad. Okay. I did an interview with him on my show. And, um, and so families were reaching out to me because they could not get the coverage, uh, in St. Louis or around the Missouri area. Right. And girls were going, uh, missing like 40 going North. And I remember I did, um, um, a show on Phoenix Coden. And I remember, uh, her mother was very diligent in trying to find out what happened to her because she was from St. Louis, but her car was found in East St. Louis, Illinois, which is right over the bridge, which is like what Arkansas is to Memphis and Mississippi, right? Um, just about 10, 15 minutes away or something like that. It's just Illinois. And her car was found in East St. Louis, Illinois, and it was still running. Okay. So that means she had been snatched up out of her car. Right. And um, I remember her mother said that there was a sighting of her and some other girls on an airplane and they were being taken to Kansas City, Missouri or something. OK. And so uh, we later found out that a lot of those girls who have been uh, gone missing around the St. Louis area, for some reason, when people when they were spotted again, they was being spotted around the Kansas City, Missouri area. OK. And so Phoenix's mother um, has started to delve a lot in that, too. And they would always travel her and other families from Missouri to Tennessee to be on my TV show because they could not get uh, coverage in the in the Kansas City area, nor could they get coverage in the St. Louis area, nor could they get coverage in any of the cities in Missouri. OK, even though their children it, it was something going on between those two cities as it relate related to uh, black girls being human trafficked and the the media would not really work with them. OK, Phoenix's mother was so diligent um, in trying to figure out what happened uh, to Phoenix. She was ended up being on the Katie Couric show and it, it went it went national. OK, so um, even since then, like I said, I have I have been definitely very interested in human trafficking because they they snatch up our children because it's easier to snatch up a black child and i see now a hispanic child because of the corruption down in mexico and the mexican government being more than likely involved okay but it's easy easier to snatch them up and they're not going to get the coverage that a natalie hollowell natalie hollowell went missing in aruba and american media couldn't stop talking about her in which it should have been like that you know i don't care what color a person is they need to get the coverage but black girls are going missing every single day and they cannot get the coverage it will make me so mad these black ass motherfuckers men and women is involved in it. I never thought I'd live to see the day that women would become such predators and they're supposed to have that motherly nature. And they have, a lot of them have children, but they don't have an issue with getting with some of these dime store hoods and, and, and messing over somebody's damn child. Women have always supposed to been able to lead young girls away from that instead of it letting men making them into predators, pulling them in for the love of some dime store fuck nigga, right? But that is exactly what's going on. And even though it is, it, it was bad in the Missouri area, it has gotten a lot worse down in that Texas area because it uh, they're going. It, it's it's a lot of stuff going on with Texas and Mexico. 
And so it makes me happy to know. And I know this because investigators that have been hired to do work around that Texas area uh, had, you know, the F uh, had told me that the FBI has gone and their specialized units have gone deep undercover. And so that's why I say it's, it's, it's a lot more going on, but they should have been talking about this before now because they've been doing this to, to down there in Mexico. Okay. As it relates to human trafficking, we already know that the drug cartels and stuff is down there and things of that nature, but it, it's, it's been a lot more than just drugs going on. I think human trafficking now is becoming more of a bigger business. And I think it's a damn shame where black men don't have an issue with destroying their women and children. I got to give me some money, man. Uh, honey, FBI going to have your asses real soon, too, because a lot of them are set up on, on, on YouTube, I done heard, okay? So you probably ain't going to be seeing them that much longer. That's why they hate me, okay? They get mad. How she know? Bitch, you can't mess with me. I wouldn't have known nothing about you, bitch, if you had not sent your folks out to mess with me, you fuck nigga, okay? And so when you send people out to mess with me, I go straight to the FBI, and that makes them look at you. OK, that's that's what goes on. OK, but anyways, you guys, that, that, there has been an invite, a travel, a do not travel advisory. Do not go down to Mexico. OK, do not go down to Mexico. Um, Hey, I, I think it's more than what meets the eye, but I guess we'll see. OK, I know this. Uh, I, I know this um, um video was loaded, but normally it is. My stuff is loaded. You never know what I'm I'm going to uh, talk about. But when I start talking about human trafficking, I have such a passion. I don't have any respect for any man that don't that that number one wants to eat off of a woman. OK, that's bad enough. But when you are a predator and and you are ruining young girls and young boys, because a lot of these folks is gay. And, and I ain't got no issues with gay folks, but they need to be true to themselves. And but when you're you when you're ruining young girls and young boys that have already had bad lives, trying to make money off of them, then there is there is a there is a untimely demise. OK, because God steps in and takes over. You're not going to be able to hurt the youth and the young adults and get away with it because God ain't going to let you do it. OK, but that is what is going on. And I, I'm just shocked that some of these women um, that don't have an issue with doing this. OK, some of these women to do anything for a man, they will do anything. That's my man. He had trusted me. He told me to go out, get him some teenage girls. And that's what I did. And put him on the corner. He said, I'm the bottom bitch. So I, I, I watch this and make sure all the teenage girls that we holding against our, against their will get out on the corner. Cause my nigga trust me, and then bitch, he turn on yo maggot ass. You you bitch, use a bottom feeding bottom of the barrel bitch doing some stuff like that. Now he got you doing it because won't no other woman that's got any class and taste and sense about herself ever do it. Okay, I think it's a damn shame what is going on. Oh, but a change is going to come and it's coming soon, y'all. That's the God of justice, okay? Just hold out. That's the God of justice, okay? But anyways, you guys, I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate you so much, okay? Uh, Like I said, definitely hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Excuse all of it. I get passionate when I start talking about our people. And what's going on, especially with the young adults and the children, okay? What I said about, you know, until there, and, and let me go back to what I was going to say. Until there is some reconciliation with the African-American man as it relates to his women and his children, he ain't going to be able to have no luck. He just ain't. That's the reason why when they're out there, they're doing evilness and they're doing wrong. Some of them, they, 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 they get, they, they get shot down and they get gutted out. Okay. Okay. Everything ain't the devil. Some of these people reaping what they sow. And I'm not talking about nobody innocent. Okay. Cause people like to twist your words. 
I ain't talking about nobody innocent. I'm talking about these ones that's out there doing wrong and thinking they're come up. You a weak ass motherfucker if your come up if, if is off of a woman, you fuck nigga. You ain't no type of man. Real men get out and they get they are they get about getting their own money. Real men stick their chests out when they able to take care of their woman. Baby, what you want? Cause I got it, or I can get it. Baby, I need you to sell your body. I need you to go give me somebody's little young daughter. Put her out there. You, you, you ain't you, you, you just you, you pathetic. Okay. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna start talking about this human trafficking stuff more. Y'all know that's my passion. Okay, that's my passion. Um, justice for our young men and women who are being forced to prostitute. Okay, justice for them. Okay, anyways, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. I'll talk with you later.